that I Monsieur Nuffet would get into a fist fight <laughs> with Russell Crowe. <laughs> Kiana, if you want to get a pedicure or you know, Ryan, you want to get a massage or this story. You, you, you already did that today? I did. Nice. Nice, nice to meet you. Maybe I'm Sasha. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that was my false set of <laughs> So look, for the Gaelic Storm versions who've never seen the band before, I did get into a fist fight in the bar where uh, the band started back in Los Angeles in 1996. <laughs> and and uh, Russell Crowe was there one night. He was celebrating the, uh, the movie LA Confidential, which is his first million dollar movie. He just moved to America. I was like, are you kidding me? I just moved to America. I'm making four twenty-five an hour. You know they bumped up to ten oh five, and I was making four twenty-five. But I was making tips, huh? and Russell Crowe gave me a hundred-dollar tip. I'm like, thank you, thank you. But here's what happened. He was smoking a cigarette at the bar, and I said. You can't smoke anymore. And Russell Crowe says, No, that's all right, mate. So it's all right, mate. So it's all right, mate. So I had to kick him out. Me, all five foot seven of me. Hold on to the street. His two bodyguards grabbed hold of me. I got a severe beating. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for your sympathy. Everybody's laughing for some reason. <laughs> so look, the song is on one of her albums, it's the last song, yeah, and uh, oh yeah, Russell Crowe, the three of them beat me up, and I was like, that's not fair, three versus one, one Irish guy versus three Australians, that's not fair. <laughs> I said, why don't you go back home to Australia and get two more just to balance things out. <laughs> Scales. <laughs> International sign for balance things out. <laughs> just sent in my head for some reason, that was terrible. Anyway, the three of them did beat me up and uh, I said that's not fair, three versus one, and Russell Crowe felt really bad and he said, I'll tell you what mate, I'll give you a free shot. He goes, here, take a shot. Right? And I said, are you sure? And he goes, yeah, go on mate, I dare you, I dare you. And I said, man. What a stupid thing to say to an Irishman. <laughs> I hit him as hard as I could. I thought I did. I thought it was like, <laughs> like you know, perfect punch. <laughs> Bang. No, it was more like this. <laughs> <laughs> and it did nothing. And my friend says, Jesus Murphy, run! <laughs> I ran as fast as I could from Russell Crowe. And nobody believes it, and that's the reason I said, <laughs> it's true, it's true. I heard the story for about five years, and I used to see Russell Crowe in there, so I knew it was a true story. All of my true stories, by the way, have some element of truth in them. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, almost all of them. That's probably the truest one, and it sounds the most far-fetched. But he did, as we know, it got very famous, right? And uh, he, he, he like hit people in the head with telephones and things after that. So, yeah. right, kind of very yeah. fun. Yeah. And no, no, he's so famous. He's building arcs. He's building arcs. Apparently, he is. Um, so we were afraid that he might sue us. I mean, even though it's a true story, he has enough money to sue us. So we named the song something that he would not. Even if he saw the title, he wouldn't know it was about him. <laughs> no. So you know how scared we were. You know how stupid he is. Yeah. We were so scared, we made, what did we name the song by? The name of the song is The Night I Punched Russell Crowe in the Head. <laughs>